have all been to school and we all know what it's like to be in a class where you have to score at least 90% to get an A. And we all know what it's like to be in a class where you're graded on a curve, a technique that can save your butt. Did you realize that the state's new grading system for public schools is based on a curve? And on tonight's special assignment, Tim Maestas reports that curve has led to some astonishingly easy A's. The report came out less than a month ago. New Mexico's first ever school grading system, where the best schools get the A's and the worst schools get the F's. Education Secretary Hannah Scandera says the new system makes evaluating schools easier to understand. You know what? I know what an A means. I know what a B means. I know what a C. I know what a D and an F means. Well, it seems like a simple system. What do you think A's, B's, C's, D's, and F's mean? Here's what students told us. How high do you have to score in a test to get an A? About a 90 or above. 90 to 100? A 90. 80 and higher is a B? Yes, sir. And then 70 and higher is a C, 60 higher is a D, and then 59 is failing. It's the grading system we all learned growing up and going to school, but it's not the grading system the public education department used to grade New Mexico schools. They graded schools on a curve. Schools were evaluated in a number of categories, including areas like academic growth, attendance rates, and graduation rates, with a total of 100 points possible. Schools that scored in the top 10% got A's, but that moved the A mark down from 90 to 75%, and that moved the grading scale even lower. Schools with a 50 percent could still get a C. That's not fair. Like a 50 should get like a D. A 50 should get an F. <laughs> that's what we get. That's we what get we get. Grade. Yeah. Because if we get, get a 59 or below, we get Fs. How do you reassure the public that an A school here really is an A school and a B school is really a B school? Is that really an accurate representation of how well they're doing? Great question. Secretary Scandera says the state needed to set a benchmark and grading on the curve was the best way to do it. Our bar is the top 10 percent. That's how we're measuring success, the top 10 percent of schools in our state. Um, I think that's an excellent starting point for asking how are we doing and let's benchmark against that and go forward and inspire that every single one of our schools is in the top 10 percent. According to Scandera, the benchmark A provides the public education department with a point to measure school progress in the future. And she says it's a much better way to measure schools than the pass-fail system provided by the No Child Left Behind Act. Last year we had 87 percent of our schools failing according to AYP or No Child Left Behind. I don't believe 87 percent of our schools are failing. Under the new system, 73 of New Mexico's 831 schools got A's, with just four of them scoring a 90 or above. Of the more than 260 schools getting a C, only 19 of them actually scored at or above a passing grade of 60 on the traditional grading scale. What do parents think? We went to Marie Hughes Elementary School, which scored a 67.7 and got a B. They shouldn't use a curve. They should be graded. Just flat grade. I think the curve system might be a little bit uh, difficult to grade because of the uh, depending on where they feel the curve falls. I think the lack of clarity was a big problem for parents. Jesse Allen is president of the Marie Hughes Elementary School PTO. She says even though the grading system is a little confusing, she understands why the state may have graded on the curve. This was the very first time the grades came out, and I would think they didn't want. They didn't want everybody to just throw in the towel. I, I certainly would have been devastated if a 67% would have said that Marie Hughes was at a D. The January report is just preliminary. Secretary Scandera says part of its purpose was to recognize the weaknesses and work out the kinks. We have a long way to go, um, but it's a great start. The grading curve will once again be used for the official grade report, which comes out in June. Tim Maestas, KRQE News 13. New Mexico is not the only state that grades its schools on the curve over in Arizona, which also started its own grading system this year. A school only needs to score 70% to get an A. Hmm. Oh, man.